The goal of our research um, at the museum is to discover what strategies children are using to recognize faces from a category that they have a lot of experience with, so we used human faces for that, um, compared to a category of faces that they don't have very much experience with, and so we used monkey faces for that. Um, and so we're trying to find out what strategies they use for these different classes of, of face stimuli. Um, and so the p specific study that um, that I was doing uh, when you filmed me at the museum was investigating something called the left side bias. And what that is, it's a processing strategy that we know adults use for recognizing who somebody else is or what emotion they're feeling. And what it refers to is the fact that when adults are looking at faces, we tend to pay more attention to the left half of someone's face when we're recognizing who they are or what they're feeling um, compared to the right half of, of someone's face. And so we wanted to see when kids would start using this left side strategy um, and whether they used it only for the faces that they had the most experience with, so the human faces, um, or if they used it for both human faces and monkey faces. Um, and so what we've found so far from this study and a couple of other studies that we've done at the museum is that children are um, starting to apply these expert face recognition strategies like the left side bias um, to human faces, but they're not applying them to monkey faces. Um, so that gives us some indication that by early and mid childhood, children are developing expertise in this really important social ability. To investigate the left side bias, the way we did that with the children at the museum um, was we'd show them three um, pictures at a time. And uh, the top, we'd show them a face at the top, and the top face was always an original human face or monkey face. And then we showed them two faces at the bottom of the screen as well. And the two faces at the bottom of the screen were actually um, two, face, two new faces created from the original face. One was the left half of the original face and its mirror image to create a new face, or one, and the other one was the right half of the original face and its mirror image to create a new face. So we'd show the sh children these three faces, the original face and then the two left halves face and the two right halves face. And we were asking kids to say which of the two manipulated faces was more similar to the original face. Um, now the way that this answers the left side bias question is that if kids are using the left side of the face to make their decisions um, about uh, who the person or who the monkey is, uh, then they're going to they're going to say that the two left halves face is more similar to the original face than the two right halves face.